So for the past, I don't know, uh, 10 years or so, uh, Game Maker has featured a little function called Show Debug Overlay. You can set the parameter there to true or false to toggle the debug overlay on or off. And that is a useful little uh, diagnostic feature of, uh, of Game Maker that you can use to figure out, uh, broadly speaking, like how your game is performing. Uh, if you enable it, you will see at the top of your screen some numbers dancing around. Uh, you can see the average, or the, the current, really, FPS underscore real of your game. You can see the number of vertex, vertex batches and texture swaps. Uh, you can't really see it in this example because there's not a lot going on, but it also features a dancing uh, red and yellow bar, uh, which shows exactly how much time your game is taking in the, uh, the, uh, the step and draw events, respectively. Hey. And um, it's not super interesting in this tiny little uh, base 2D example, so I'm going to run this in, a, in the, the WizardX project, and that's going to show a little bit more information. Uh, you'll have to give this a minute to build because this is the first run of the day. So here we are in the land of Wizard Ducks. You can see that I am averaging about 140 maybe FPS underscore real, uh, 28 um, texture swaps in this in this example, and 82 uh, batch breaks. Hello, dog. And you can see that if I were to make the scene a little bit more complex, uh, for example, increasing the flower density a tiny bit, uh, let's bump it up to say 300% or so, then the numbers are going to change because we now have a little bit more going on, and the uh, the average FPS underscore real is going down. Exactly the information that's shown in the debug overlay is something I haven't really talked about and is maybe something that's better suited for a, a deeper dive into this matter. Since the, uh, the early GMS1 days, this is what the debug overlay has been. However, if you were to close out of this and if you were to run the same game in the June of 2023 betas for Game Maker, you can see that I am in uh, 2023 600 357 is my current beta version. Um, whatever the beta version happens to be when you are watching this. Uh, I can run this now. And it's going to take a moment to build. And all of a sudden, you can see that the debug overlay looks very different than it did in uh, the previous version, and very different from the way that it has for a long, long time. So we still have all the same information here, but we have a lot more information, and it's a lot easier to read, and it's presented in a, a very different and updated way. So, um, real quick, what we're seeing right now is uh, not Game Maker's uh, new and upcoming UI system, the way that a, a couple people um, thought the first time that I, I posted screenshots of this around. Um, this is, uh, this is I, am I Am GUI, this is Dear I Am GUI, which is a sort of general purpose like debugging UI that has been uh, made and used for a lot of like development tools and debug tools and that sort of thing. And, Many, di many different computer programming um, systems over the years. And Game Maker has recently implemented it for the purposes of, uh, of the debug overlay. And uh, you can see that there's, um, it's a lot easier to read for one because we have a solid colored background uh, behind numbers such as the texture swaps and vertex batches and average FPS underscore real and that sort of thing. And it's not just at the mercy of whatever is like, whatever is behind those numbers at the top of the screen in the game anymore. Um, you can see that the uh, the colored bars are still there. They're still dancing around. So we have the update and the draw uh, timings. Uh, the colors have changed and you can, um, if you can actually click on it, you can uh, enable or disable certain parts of the debug overlay. So if you're only interested in, uh, for example, what's happening in the step event, oh, come on, you can, um, you can uncheck the, uh, the draw uh, checkbox, and you can you can turn that part off, and you can only focus on what's um, being taken up in the step event and with the garbage collector. Um, you can uh, you have a nice graph, which is probably the most obvious thing to notice uh, regarding things such as the uh, the average frame rate of your game. Unfortunately, as of my speaking, the uh, the numbers on the side of the screen are kind of not very useful. They're just placeholder numbers at the moment. I do expect this new and improved debug overlay to see a lot of improvements. Uh, between now and when the June of 2023 uh, monthly version officially comes out. Um, but never nevertheless, you have a frame time graph, a frame rate graph. Um, you, can you can check the stacked um, checkbox, and you can also see the, uh, uh, the timings for individual uh, breakdowns of that. For example, the garbage collector, the, the step event, the draw event, that sort of thing. Um, and you can also, if you can actually move your mouse over to click on them, uh, check or uncheck individual... Uh, features in that uh, in that graph, and you can also uh, 
click on this this bar at the top and you can zoom in or zoom out uh, you probably noticed it is a little hard to ignore that if you scroll all the way out um, we're going to have some some form of like vertex errors um, which are more moderately screwing up the uh, the drawing of this chart uh, which is a little annoying but again this is a feature that's in very beta right now uh, you'll also probably notice that my cursor is disappearing behind the uh, the FPS overlay uh, which is kind of annoying I I do hope that this is sorted out in some way uh, what's going on here is that I have the the Windows cursor disabled so I have I forget what the function is exactly it's a uh, window set cursor window set cursor and if you set this to uh, if you use this to disable the cursor uh, as I have done, then the uh, the cursor that you draw in the game will be drawn underneath the debug overlay, which is, I think, a little bit annoying, and I wish that the debug overlay would have a uh, an override for that, so that I don't have to, like, have the cursor disappear behind things. Hey. Again, very beta, if, uh, um, I'm sure that, I'm sure that you all uh, have your own opinions on on how this should be de designed in the end. There's a couple other things I, I obviously wish would uh, be added to this eventually. I would really like average um, frame times on this graph. Uh, so that you can see, like, the trend over the last, I don't know, whatever you want, 10 seconds or so. Um, and it'll, uh, it'll even out the, the spikes a little bit. Uh, rolling averages are also a, uh, a statistical measure that are, that are good for that sort of thing. Uh, moving on, you can collapse this, uh, this overlay in case you, uh, you want to see just the, the basic numbers, but you don't want to have the whole chart taking up the whole screen. And if you go into this debug, this new debug menu at the top, uh, you can also view the, uh, the log. Uh, which is basically the uh, the console standard output, and you can see a uh, an audio mixer, uh, which is very interesting. And if I were to move around and in the game and like play some play some sounds, um, let's see, can I cast a spell and make that play a spell, or cast a spell and make something happen? And you can see the uh, the audio the audio mixer. If I were to jump in the water and make the splashing sounds happen, um, some uh, I have another spell that I can cast. Um, okay, cool. That will crash the game because I'm... this game is a, uh... I was in the middle of working on something. And, uh, forgot about that when I... When I went to record this video. Let me do that again. For the record, that crash was in my own code. That wasn't something that is, like, a game maker beta break or something. Anyway, that's the audio mixer. Um, we also have the, uh, the console. And this is just the, uh, the standard output. This is the, what appears in the console down here. Um, in Game Maker, uh, this just gives you a way to see it in um, in your actual game. Uh, again, you can click and drag these windows around. You can collapse them if you would like them to take up a little bit less space. Uh, you can, of course, if I can actually uh, click on it, you can uh, click and drag the uh, the scroll bar to see more of what's in the console. Most of this is from uh, the input and and chatterbox systems. Um, if I were to, uh, I think, if I click out of the window. Does it not show the... Oh, it does show the pause event registered and unregistered for frames. Um, okay. Anyway, that's the, that's the console. Um, again, there's obviously a lot, of, a lot of interesting things that could be done with, um, with this debug overlay now that it's been really uh, overhauled with Dear I Am, Ju I Am GUI, the, uh, the UI system. Um, there's other like, debugging features that could be, that could be shown. Um, let's see if I, can, if I can think of any interesting ideas that I've had off the top of my head. This is unlikely to become as like fully featured as the actual Game Maker debugger because it's a separate mode of program operation, but as far as the, uh, the graphs go, the game's memory usage could be an interesting stat to display. Uh, things such as the, uh, the texture, the actual texture pages themselves, if you wanted to be able to visualize those in game, could be interesting. And also the ability, I think, uh, while we're on the subject, uh, the ability to access more of this information in actual code would be really interesting. Uh, the ability to actually uh, get the standard output log in in game with some game maker function could be interesting. Uh, the ability to get the uh, the different frame time readings in game maker in code could be interesting. Uh, this is a a bit of a more speculative video than I'm than I usually make, but I think this is a I, I want to hear what you all have to say about this. I want you all to write in more feature requests to to Yo -Yo Games. I'll have a link to their uh, their feature request page in the video description. Uh, for other things that could be added to this debug overlay. Um, preferably quickly, like before the 2023 June update comes out, but uh, just in general, because I am... Um, this is the sort of thing that... This is the sort of nerdy thing that... that captures my imagination.
Also, and I, uh, I thought of this like the instant I closed the game to, to get to end the video, but um, in an amusing twist of fate, this kind of, kind of mostly obsoletes uh, a bunch of my own like debug overlay tools that I've, I've been using in a lot of my games. Uh, this is what I, what I like to call my FPS speedometer. And I wrote this many, many years ago, and it's, it's a, it's a bit of my own, like, FPS graph, uh, that is occasionally useful. And in an amusing twist of fate, um, this, uh, this update to the debug overlay, probably, it doesn't completely obsolete it yet, because again, we don't have the average frame time, but it, um, it definitely could in a lot of ways. And, uh, as much as it can be no fun to have something that you, that you worked on just completely obsoleted, I do like it when... Uh, Yo-Yo Games obsolete stuff that I made in this way because uh, generally speaking when this sort of thing is built into the engine uh, it, it becomes a lot more accessible to people and a lot easier to use Because uh, you know, you don't have to like install uh, external extensions and, and all that to make it work Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for me for today uh, This is straying a little bit far from the usual tutorial that I usually make but again I think this sort of thing is very interesting and this is the, the sort of nerdy thing I get excited about and I um, I want you all to see it I do definitely want to make more videos on debugging and uh, thorough, in-depth use of the debugger at a later date. That sort of thing tends to be pretty underappreciated in, uh, in game dev. But for now, my name is Michael. I like wizards and dragons and making games. I try to post about two game dev videos a week, one tutorial tutorial and one let's make a game, uh, currently a 3D wizard game. And occasionally I'll do more uh, if Game Maker adds new features in beta. So if you're interested in any of that, feel free to subscribe. I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute to the channel, links to that can be found in all the usual places. I hope you all find this interesting, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Zenjamin, Vitro V, Squarecrow, Syndra Larson, Manta Ray, Harold Gidry, Game Maker, Edward Hult, DJ Gibbles, and Army Armbuster for supporting these videos. If you want to contribute to the channel, head on over to the Patreon page down in the video description to join the fun.